Look at these crazy workers and sitting in the middle of the road going up to that light. Never seen that happen before. It's kind of crazy. And the cops behind them blocking that lane. Oh, we get to turn around them now. Woohoo! Neato. And the job hunt continues on this cold, snowy day. First up, Chili's. I've been home for about two and a half, three hours. And I'm still in my coat because I'm still freezing. It's just so cold outside right now. The snow is still coming down. It's gross out there, right, Cole? He's so happy. So then you're going to build a fire and then maybe try to be somewhat productive and finish taking the ornaments off the Christmas tree. We'll see, though. Tonight, for dinner, we are having my fallback dinner. That's steam. Making spaghetti carbonara. It's a really easy, delicious, cheap meal that I make when I don't know what else to make. It's that or coal cannon which is the mashed potatoes, ham, cabbage meal that I make. Um, I'm just wondering, does anyone else have like a fallback meal? Something that's pretty cheap, really easy to make, that you just love, and no matter when you make it, you know you're going to enjoy it? If you do, post a comment below. Let us know. I'm interested to know what, what you guys like to make as your fallback meal. Grammy, what's your fallback meal? Is it kibble? Is it kibble? Is it kibble? <sighs> oh, what's that? That's hot. You know, huh? And to anyone who's noticed that I'm still wearing my jacket, I know I'm still cold. Dan's mom bought Dan's dog at Indy a bone, but Indy had no interest in it. So I think I'm going to give it to one of my dogs. Maybe the one who we need to gain a little bit of weight. You gonna take it? My phone's ringing! And my phone stopped ringing. Maybe he doesn't want it. I bet Takari wants it. But it's for this guy. Come on, you need to eat that peanut butter. Hey! Magic. Just as I'm finishing making up dinner, I hear Thor in the other room having a fur ball on my population genetics book. So I go to clean it up. It is the exact color, texture, and consistency of my dinner. Guess who has no appetite now? Hey Gromit, where have you been? Aw, you can't see him. He's covered in cobwebs. He was in the basement. And on today's episode of This Is What I Married... Mmm, really delicious. Spaghetti! Time to make apple crisp, because my apples are getting ready to go bad. First, you peel them. Cut up the apples and put them in the bottom of a glass dish or something that's oven safe. And I sprinkle just a little bit of cinnamon on them. In a separate container, add one cup oats. I use Aldi brand. One half cup firmly packed brown sugar. Technically it's a teaspoon of cinnamon, but I just like to go with a dash. There we go. One third cup flour. Give all that dry stuff just a quick stir. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be thoroughly mixed. Just a quick stir. Add one third cup melted butter and mix thoroughly. Once everything is nice and moist, sprinkle it onto the apples. It goes very slowly if you do it by spoon. Don't pat it 
down or anything. Just make sure it's pretty much covering everything. Best as it can be. A little bit of apple showing isn't a big deal. Bring it over. Put it in your oven. It's been preheated to 375 for about a half hour. After a half hour, take it out. Should be kind of golden brown on top. The apples will be bubbling. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let it cool and enjoy. Colby, it's a time for bed. Don't go to bed, Colby. Okay, come on, bedtime. Say goodnight.